Hello! 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 Yes! Okay, everyone, this is Just Toasters. And we are doing the first video of our Mobile Madness! It's so mad! Oh, yeah, but first, where the heck have we been? Uh, doing stuff. Sorry, we've had uh, some life things come up, and because of that, we've been a little unable to bring you the awesome high quality videos that we are known for but we are back by popular demand yes someone actually demanded us I don't know who he is but I'm sure it's someone anyway so in the, our first of mobile madness we're doing the almighty MOBA itself League of Legends now if you haven't heard of this one you must be living under a rock somewhere but League of Legends is one of the biggest MOBA and free to play games out there and I believe has really well, taken and launched video games into the uh, esports scene. I mean, I believe the first uh, the international tournament of a while back completely sold out its stadium and was one of the biggest sporting events of the year. And anyway, uh, sorry. I'm um, this today. We are joined by our good friend Sean. Say hi, Sean. Hi. Just uh, just letting you rant. Or oh, not rant. Like just letting you like continue your conversation I guess yeah. yeah okay anyway we're playing a nice little game here at Summoner's Rift unfortunately they still have not released the updated design for Summoner's Rift which I'm slightly disappointed with uh, but anyway I'm pay playing uh, Kog'Maw he's a uh, like a grotesque little monster that sounds like Stitch and tries to eat everyone yeah, and I'm playing mid um, mid lane with this uh, other tentacle monster that is very weird looking and fires lasers at everyone. <laughs> it's there's not really much to explain about this one, these creatures to be honest. Like you file on people and I laser beam people. That's really about it. Yeah, uh, different folks, different strokes is what they say. See. Like so, part of this, part of the reason we're doing the series is basically to uh, to explain the differences between the MOBAs and to um, highlight the big ones, of course. And, hi and to highlight the big ones, yeah, of course. But um, so basically, there's a, there's a number of different things we're going to be talking about that uh, and how the, the MOBAs are different uh, in comparison. So yeah, we're going to be talking about a lot of the pros and cons. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. Oh, and if we uh, are the ones that we will definitely be covering so far are, of course, this one. We will be covering Dota next. Then we'll be going on to Smite. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be trying covering off a lot of them, and maybe later we might even look up Awesome Nuts and maybe uh, Super Monday Night Combat. We will see. First, that one's still running. It's been ages since I've played that one. Yeah, me too. Oh my god. Anyway, this I apologize. Is really wanting me dead. Um, uh, sorry. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I'm just like this gangplank is just like all alone up here. Uh, poor gangplank. I did not enjoy playing him. When the first time I did, I was just like horrible at it. Anyway. Anyway, so um, for those of you that don't know what a MOBA is, uh, basically I'm going to give you a brief thing because we want to actually be talking more about the pros and cons of this individual game rather than the genre itself. A MOBA is a team, um, team, sort of mobile uh, battle arena. <laughs> mobile battle arena, where you and and a few other people will compete uh, as a team and try and get. Uh, oh, I'm being shot at by this hour. Uh, that wasn't so bad. Anyway, we. Uh, Basically, you and your team of various uh, individuals, usually different classes or champions, will uh, battle it out on to destroy the enemy t uh, enemy team's base. This is usually done by in these games by leading a by sort of uh, little minions in this case, but usually creeps like a lot of little NPC buggers that will trap you and get to your enemy's base, and they in two will do the same. You still have to usually fight down towers, and once you break through all this and get into the enemy's base, just destroy their uh, 
in this case it's an ancient. Once that's destroyed, you've won the game. Uh, it's next to the game, the ancient Stota. Uh, Isn't this an ancient too? No, this one's Nexus. Ah, Nexus. Completely yes. different thing. Well, it's this, it's the same core idea though, yeah. apart from some of them fight. Some of the uh, Nexuses or uh, Ancients fight back, and they don't in this game in Dota. So. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I kind of actually like the fighting back one. It, it mean it's it's kind of a nice system. But at the same time, uh, they all have their pros and their cons. Yes, indeed they do. Anyway, so the first um, the first pro and con that I should probably that we should probably point out is uh, what what you get in addition in this game than you get in other games. Um, in this game in specific, you uh, get a couple of summoner spells and runes. So, do you want to talk about summoner spells first or runes? Uh, let's go with summoner spells. Oh, you, you also get, um, sorry, Masteries, which are also different, but Summoner Spells are the big kind of change. In this game you get two Summoner Spells, which um, they're, usually they're usually set on uh, DNF, and yeah. they can, they're usually uh, very simple... Oh, shit. <laughs> very simple spells. Oh, I just got killed. Things. Oh, let's see if I can kill Gangplank. I, I just blew um, up. Damn! Ah, uh, dead. First death, I think. Oh god, I feel bad now. Uh. uh, no, you're not the first person to die. Somebody traded earlier. Ah, uh, okay. Anyway, um, where were we? Uh, yeah, so, so you had some nerf spells, right? Yeah, do you want, do you want to, which summoner spells have you got, Michael? Oh, uh, I've only got the speed one and the heal one. Okay, so you got Ghost and Heal. So Ghost is a very basic summoner spell which basically speeds you up for a very short period of time, allowing you to pretty much escape an enemy um, if needs be. Um, now there's there's two like this, there's Ghost and then there's Flash, and Flash is what, the one I've got, um, which is a little, uh, looks like a little yellow uh, guy jumping. Uh, and the Flash uh, teleports you a short distance um, now, it doesn't get you as far as um, Ghost, but it does mean that you teleport instead of just move, so you get there faster, and um, it means you can teleport over things as well. Mm. To be honest, I don't think the summoner spells are that big of a thing. Like, uh, I barely use them. I, I like them because it adds a bit more customization to each character I um, when I'm you start. I'm for, yeah, I'm up for customization, but at the same time, I barely use them. I just don't. They just don't really seem to do that much, to me, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Uh, like, like they are kind of like long cooldown, but they are fairly powerful in general. Like, nor like the a big thing about this game is survivability and how survivable your character is. And uh, the summoner spells usually help in your survivability, but summoner spells can also help you kill other opponent, your opponents. The second summoner spell I have is uh, ignite, which is basically. A damage over time spell, which oh god, uh, okay, I about to go, almost got killed there. But it's a damage over time spell which um, sets more fire and reduces their healing for a short period of time. Um, now this is very good for mid laners to uh, get easy kills because mid mid lane is a very short lane. Is there's not much space between the towers, so it can be that extra push to kill your opponent. Um, what, what's your second summoner spell, Michael? Uh, it's a healing one. It's simple, but it's nice. Yeah, it, it's a simple, it's a very support one. It heals you and any adjacent... Oh, uh, no. Oh. Adjacent... Damn, we're going adjacent, to die, we're going to die, we're going to die. Ah, um, oh, nice. I got credit for that. <laughs> close by heroes of your team. Oh. It's, um, it's, it's pretty useful, but it's not used so much. It's pretty good. Or it's pretty good uh, when you're low level, though. It can save you a lot uh, in uh, early games. Yeah. Uh, God, what was? What else was? Um, I don't know. One, one thing I do like about this game is the grass. You know, you can hide in the grass. Um, um. it's kind of nice. Yeah, that's in quite a, lot, quite a few MOBAs actually. There's this uh, area, well, Michael's probably pointing out already, but this area is a big, uh, tall grass, which block line of sight, and while you're hiding in them, you cannot be seen unless somebody else within, is within the same grass as you, basically. 
Unless they have a ward. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, uh, alright, we're um, so what, what, what do you find helps set League of Legends out from the other MMOs? I mean, this is the biggest one of all of them. This one's the the highlighter, the big cheese. Uh, sort of. Well, the, the reason why I think this one's probably the big cheese is literally because of how easy it is to get into compared to the other MOBAs. I think it's accessibility which gives it um, so much credit. Um, oh, and nice one thing it does use, it does use the whole um, trial system. You know, you uh, they'll, they'll put certain heroes on a uh, weekly trial and then they'll... Um, yeah. Then they'll uh, you'll earn points, and these points you can use to either to purchase the champions, which oh yeah, every champion in this game is purchasable by with uh, either these credits or real money. Yeah, it's, is, like uh, it's a pretty good system, as you can't complain of it ever being like they're just wanting your money because you can get every single champion for free. Basically, just requires hours and hours of playing. It doesn't require that long to buy the simple champions. The simple champions are very, 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 very cheap. Um, the, the simple champions can be bought within two games of play, whereas the later on champions require a good, I don't know, 20 to 30 games of play. Um, which is 20 to 30 hours of actual playtime, normally. Actually, no, mm, there's uh, maybe a uh, 15. It's like 10 to 15 hours of actual playtime to achieve one champion. Now, the, the reason why this is... this I like this system. I know Michael doesn't because he likes the ability to try any champion he wants at any time. It's, I find it good. it's a good system early game, but like once you've invested so much time in it and you just want, like, I want to try this champion, but I don't want it. I either have to wait for it to go free or I have to... Um, I either have to wait for it to go free, or I have to um, just uh, buy it and hope I like it. Yeah, like if it's, if it's the easier champions that are cheaper to buy, then that's not a big problem because you're not wasting that much money. But yeah, if if you you have to wait for them to go free before you can buy them. Now the reason I like this this so much is because you're technically um, required to play a champion that you've bought. A decent amount before moving on to the next one. So, like a fighting game where people usually like choose a champion they like, and then, um, and then, uh, sorry, uh, distracted. Uh, choose a champion they like and um, then learn that champion. It's the same sort of thing here. You choose a champion you like, you define your skills with that champion, and then you um, you move on to the next one. I really like. I, I really like that system. It means that you don't get players all the time that have not played champions and trying them out for the first time. Yeah. One thing I'll, I think yeah, we might have to comment is that, like I think I think the uh, the person I'm playing with in my lane right now is just is doing it right now is that a lot of these games have a rather toxic community, and I think that that comes from the actual how the game is designed. Yeah. It's a very competitive game. So, and, yeah, yeah. I, I talk. I, I, I have a blog. Oh, for God's sake! No. Yeah, it's sort of they're complaining. Why didn't you help? I wasn't even there. Yeah. I, I was fucking um, responding. Yeah. Um. The uh, I, I, I did a bit of a blog post about this. Um, about uh, toxic communities and stuff and stuff like that. But um, the the reason why many of these games have a toxic community is because you it, it's a very team based game and when things go wrong you usually turn to uh, to uh, blame your team because the the way this game the these mobas work is snowballing. They whoever uh, does better gets more powerful. So if you do well early game, you are more powerful late game. That's why where the uh, term feeding comes into it. Yeah, and if you you don't do well, you get blamed. And I mean, this person right here is complaining that I'm not helping, but she's getting her ass kicked too. And yeah, so I'm it's basically there's always somebody to blame, and usually it's not just it. that. That's usually the way it works. You, you try and like a lot of the community try and find. Oh, yeah. no, you're not getting away from blame. me. Boom! Ha ha ha! Double kill. Fair enough. Hold well on. Um, I am going to help the top lane here. 
Help Sonner. Sooner. Um. Shut up. I could. And and you kill both and lived. What? God, this person is. Yeah, see, this is one of the problems. Man, with a lot of these games, they are all the people. Yeah. it's just. Mm. Yeah, the, 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 there's this, there's this thing. But the thing about it is, that these games are meant to be played with people you know, people you can know you can play as a with a within a team. Playing on your own, they, these games aren't games you want to play on your own at, at all, yeah. if, uh, yeah. if possible. Um, yeah, I, to be honest, I, f I know Sean doesn't agree with me. I, I think League of Legends has got. The one of the worst communities in the MOBA ever. Um, I, think I don't necessarily agree with it, but I do think that the people who do complain a lot complain more, mainly because um, they're because the game's so easy to get into. They usually have it has a bit of a younger audience, yeah. and therefore they they complain more and they're more vocal about it. That's kind of just how the game works. Oh God, uh, run away, Michael! Michael, run oh, away! Oh shit! Uh, yeah. Ah, nice one. Um. So, uh. So yeah, basically they're more vocal, which is why I think it's, that's why I think Michael um, sees this as a worse community than more of the other ones. Um, I like I said, I don't see any more um, players being that annoyingly toxic, but I do see a lot more chat about it. Let's just put it that way. A lot more yeah. insults, more of that sort of thing. Yeah, questioning um, your sexuality and such. <laughs> uh, okay. I know it. That that is just really the big problem for me in this game is the community, and I, I know the get the, the companies oh, okay. are trying to solve it, but it's, I just don't think it's going to happen. Okay, okay. I bet you this person, that Christiana girl, is going to start complaining. <laughs> yep, told you. Are you right? So yeah, as you see, like, um... Why I run? Because Gangplank hit his damn ultimate. Oh, damn, that's why I ran. They're half their life. Yeah, we're at less than half our life. <laughs> see? And we're running through damaging things. Anyway, so that that's that's one of the disadvantages of this game. Um, now another one of the disadvantages to this game, although, well, it's an advantage and disadvantage, is the, uh, going back to what's different sort of thing than the other games is the uh, is the masteries and the uh, rune system. The masteries and runes require money to buy, which means that you, well, not money, money, as in require the uh, in-game currency to buy. How? Oh shit! Going the wrong way. Hello. Uh. uh so basically... I do love Cogmagor's death ultimate ability. It's the death yeah. ability. It's yeah. it's so much fun. Just going. <laughs> Boom. I I wouldn't mind going back to uh, the abilities and passives in this game actually at that point. But uh, like I said, it's it's an, the uh, the masteries and um, rune system is better and worse. Like I said, it, it takes time to accumulate runes to uh, to um, to make your character. Basically, to uh, outfit your character, but it's more customization. That's why I said about customization. I like the customization in this game compared to others. Mm, but it doesn't um, seem to do that much. It's only like zero point five percent, isn't it? Per rune, that's still like. Think about it. That's still like thirty odd percent. That's pretty lot. That's quite a lot. Yeah. And that's before the game starts, and most of the action happens in the game. Yeah, I guess. Um, let's see. What's Okay. Uh, well, one one thing I'll will say is um, that it, that one thing I'm a bit annoyed at, but the developers are trying to solve is that uh, this game has a very very dark style. But I think that comes from how the game was forged. To be honest, this game did not start off with a single art style. It started off with World of Warcraft, you know, Warcraft 3's art style, and then tried to make it so, and that's slowly coming back over time. That's just yeah. one of the problems I have with the game. I find it kind of distracting, but well, it's it's, 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 it's more it. of a taste type of thing. Yeep. It's slowly but steadily fixing it. But I have found a few champions in this that I quite like, though, to be honest, one thing I'll say, um, well, I like the champions in this. Uh, sorry, hay fever season around here, guys, so excuse the noise and sniffing. 
but uh, I think. Oh, God's sake! Someone's already trying to surrender. Uh, yep, I knew it was that freaking Tristia, little whiny girl. This game, all of these games have are full of whiners. I really don't like whiners. Oh, I'm dead. It's like, how um, even play? Oh, 20 minutes. Yes, 20 minutes. 20, 20 minutes is about as long as a game usually takes um, to figure out whether you've won or lost, which is actually why I like the surrender system in this game. It does, you cannot surrender until 20 minutes have passed. But yeah, once fine. 20 minutes has passed, it, that's usually enough time for you to figure out for definite if you have won or lost. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes you can figure. You, you, sometimes it's a good match and you're evenly balanced, and it takes a lot longer. But 20 yeah. minutes is usually a lot, enough. A lot of and there are characters that are like rubbish early game, but it's the late game that's when they start to shine. I feel that they don't actually get that. Oh look, another one of this guy. Um, the hell are they doing? Ah. Fuck, team up. No, come um, on! Oh, I hit the thingy. So. Oh, God. So, um, there's another thing about this game which I would like to bring up is the fact that, um, fighting in this game compared to some other games is a lot more trading blows. It's, it's like a brawl. It's like a. You, I punch you, you punch me, I use an ability, I hit an ability, you, you shoot an ability, I dodge it, sort of thing. It's, it's a lot of trading blows. And then you have, um, like... Oh my god. Um, then you have, um... Kind of the big rush, where basically, uh, characters jump in to try and, um, kill the other, kill the opponent if they think they can. And that's when the opponent has their time to try and, um, avoid... Uh, trying to avoid getting killed. Now, I really like the uh, the longer, longer battles that happen in this game compared to some. They're it's nice. It, they're nice length. They're not too long. They're not too short. And usually they're done while farming, while the actual farming phase is actually happening. So there's you 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 have your attention split on trying to damage your opponent and farm creeps by last hitting. Um, and that's it. That that's your that's your two focuses. The uh, the other thing is um, if you're not farming, which uh, if you're not farming because you're oh god. Oh, no, you're getting away from me. Oh, I god damn love that ability. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just so much fun. It's like ow, oh, you kill me. Oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Boom, you're dead. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> so, yes. What was I talking about? Um. Oh okay, yeah, you're, you're farming and trying to. You're, you've got longer battle time. So basically, there's a lot more. Um, there's a lot more skill shots. There's a lot more back and forth. There's a lot more trading. It's it's, it's like a good, a good. Um, duel. Like a good du duel between you and your opponent, or you and your support against your opponent and their support. Um, and then you have. Um, also in this game, because those kind of uh, longer duels happen, you've got characters which um, are, are, they're, are they're more focused on certain tasks. Um, there's a more definite uh, top lane, middle lane, bottom lane, and jungle um, thing that happens. There's usually, usually, I say, um, oh god, we're gonna we're gonna do this, are we? Usually, we have um, uh, bottoms needing assistance. Uh, usually you have um, a top lane, which is a, bru uh, a bruiser, which is kind of a more damaging character, which uh, also has a decent amount of health. Um, and then you have... Uh, that's not going to happen. Nope. Nope. Uh, then you have um, the mid lane, which is your AP carry, which is a character which is basically a mage. He, he depends on... Uh, ability power, which is magic, and they usually do a lot of damage and they farm a lot. And they can usually trade blows fairly effi efficiently with whoever they're against. Um, then you have uh, bottom lane, which is usually an AD carry, which is I right click on you and I do damage um, slowly, but more, um, more reliably. 
but uh, usually AD carries need a lot of help. Like a lot, a lot of help to uh, to keep going. Uh, people are keep trying to surrender. Um. Um, and then you've got Jungle, which is usually the guy who b b uh, tries to not take uh, XP from ah, the creeps, ah, tries to get XP and money from the Jungle Creeps instead, which is usually another type of bruiser character. Isn't It's not entirely a bruiser. Uh, and then you have characters which are uh, tanks, which are usually either in the jungle or the lane. Uh, sorry, jungle or top lane, because that's just how they are. Um. Mm. Oh, I'm okay, I think we have to get out of here. Uh, Make sure yeah. um, I, like, I like playing guys that just have got awesome attack speed. It's a thing I like. Just sort of like attack speed. Yeah, near, near players usually like AD carries. It's usually the way it works. Um, AP carries usually have a lot more spells and uh, skill shots, so usually they're it's usually something for later in uh, when you're when you've experienced the game for a lot longer. And then there's supports which usually have to have a good knowledge of the game. They have to have a good knowledge base of how everybody plays and who to target and who to lock down and who to make sure everybody gets a good shot on or or who needs the buffs and who needs the debuffs. Uh, and then there's the top laner, which are usually mid game. They start, they do damage, and then they do, and uh, they do uh, a bit of tankiness just to make sure they have survivability. Um, and the whole point of them is to basically um, the whole point of them is to basically just kind of be somewhere between a tank and a uh, damage dealer. And then there's jungle, which is like I said, it's it's yeah. kind of they they usually swing certain jewels in one team's favor, but of course there's two of them, one on each side, and they usually try and swing different jewels in different uh, different ways. So it, it they're they're the they're the way that uh, people usually get kills. Let's just put it that way. Oh my god, no. Um. We're probably gonna lose this. <laughs> Camp like is the third. Yeah. Um. So yeah, basically, uh, this game has a lot more structure around how the meta works. Um, it has a lot more customi customization with the characters, and of course, it has all the the ability, it, all the um, different items. The items in, in both games are pretty much similar. Um, the, this game has less items which are activated items, and mostly passive items which do something cool, like um, when you shoot, you shoot three bullets instead of one. Love that one. Or when you attack, you have a higher critical chance, or when you critical, you do three times as much damage as normal, or, or something like that. Yeah. Um, whereas uh, other games usually, if some other games have more um, active items which you activate for certain effects. Um, like in this game, there's a there's an activatable item which heals everybody for a small amount of... for a decent amount of damage. Oh my god. That's not good. <sighs> yeah, okay. Ooh, Point where we surrender. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Oh, coward! 